In our day-to-day -day activities, some questions arise. In how many ways can I invite my friends who are eight in number and my table can accommodate only six? Such questions do occur in our daily affairs. Similarly, a question arises as to how many diagonals does an octagon have? An octagon is an eight-sided figure. All these and much more questions will be answered when we study the next chapter called Permutations and Combinations. To study and learn more about it, we have to study some basic facts. They are The first concept that we have to understand is what is factorial. Let n be any whole number, that is, either it is a zero or it is any natural number. n factorial is defined as the product of 1, 2, 3, 4, dash, dash, dash up to n, where n is belong to natural numbers n. Thus, 1 factorial equal to 1, 2 factorial will be 1 into 2, that is 2. 3 factorial is equal to 1 into 2 into 3, that is 6, etc., etc. Factorial n is not defined for any negative numbers or any fractional number. Clearly, n factorial is equal to n into n minus 1 factorial or n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 factorial or n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 into n minus 3 factorial. Let us study 2n factorial. 2n factorial means 1, 2, 3, 4, so on, their product up to 2n minus 2, 2n minus 1 and 2n. If I pull out even add odd integers separately, we get the first factor as 2, 4, 6, 2n minus 2 and 2n. The second is 1 into 3 into 5 into 2n minus 1. In the first group of even numbers, we can pull out 2 common from each factor. That becomes equal to 2 raised to the power n because 2 can be pulled out from each of the n factors. That give, gives us 2 raised to the power n multiplied by 1 into 2 into 3 up to n minus 1 into n. The other factors being 1, 3, 5, so on up to n minus 1, which is equal to 2 raised to the power n. 1, 2, 3, 4 up to n can be replaced by n factorial in, into 1 into 3 into 5 into 2n minus 1 equal to 2 raised to power n into n factorial into 1 into 3 into 5 into 2n minus 1. It's a very important result. Note that m plus n factorial is not equal to m factorial plus n factorial. Similarly, 2n factorial is not equal to 2 into n factorial and m into n factorial is not equal to m factorial into n factorial. These are three important mistakes. The concept of permutation and combination depends on two fundamental rules. First, the addition rule. Suppose a work A can be performed in m different ways and another work B can be performed in n different ways which does not depend on the work A. Then A or B, that is at least one of them, can be performed in m plus n ways. This rule is called addition rule and can be extended to more than two mutually exclusive events. 
The second rule is called product rule. Suppose a work A can be performed in M ways, following which a second work B can be performed in N, in N ways. Then the two works in succession can be performed in M into N ways. Suppose I have four shirts and three pants, then I can dress up in four into three, that is equal to twelve ways. Because corresponding to every shirt, I can use one of the three pants. Since there are four shirts, naturally the number of ways in which I can dress up is four into three. That is what I have used as the product rule.